Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this recording. I'm recording this for one of my viewers uh, to take them through the process of installing Git Bash. So, um, we were talking through something called Acolyte, um, and there was a user who wanted to use some of the Unix-like uh, commands, like ls for listing files, um, but couldn't do that uh, through the Windows interface. Now the first thing I want to note is that if you go here to Acolyte, and you go to the website, uh, what you can do is you can download, if you're on Windows, Acolyte for Windows. You can download and save this file. So it's downloading now. And you can save that file uh, specifically to your computer and run it like normally. But if you want to use some of the uh, Unix-based commands that I have in my walkthrough of how to use Acolyte, you'll have to use git bash. And to do that, you'll just want to go to the Microsoft Store. So if you haven't done this before, go down to the bottom, you can find Microsoft Store. And then you want to uh, search for git bash. Now, depending on your version, you might not find it here. So what you can do if you don't find it there, you just look up git bash download. You'll find uh, actually this version isn't what you want. The Git for Windows is what you want. And I'll put this link in the description. Uh, but if you click download here, it will download. It'll take you to this GitHub page. And it'll pull out this exe. Now I've actually already downloaded this. So if I go to Git Bash, once you install this, you will see this. It will log in uh, for to your computer and let you start working with it. Um, so this is a great start for using different uh, the different commands that you can use. Now in my case, I want to cd or change directory into downloads, and once this is done, I'm going to go to my downloads folder, show this in folder, I'm going to right click on it and extract all, like so. It will extract all these files. So it's just extracting all those files for me there. And note it's being extracted if I note into my downloads folder and so I'll need to change directory into the Acolyte file. One thing to note, if you right click on this, you can go to options uh, and then you can control uh, the way this looks. So in my case, I'm going to increase the font size so you can actually see it. There we go. As I'm waiting for this to unzip, and you'll have to do that once you download this file here. We're almost there. Now you don't have to use the git bash command line, I just prefer it. You certainly could use the default command line as well, uh, and I'll show you that next. So now we've unzipped this, I'm going to uh, change directory into there, and then into the uh, file here. This is the main file that we want to be in, so I'm cd change directory into my downloads, acolyte, acolyte py win. I can then ls and I can see uh, there's a link here, a config folder, a data folder, and a distribution folder, and this is where I want to be. If I wanted to at this point, I could run Acolyte. And so how I would do this, I'm just going to click on the manual here. If I scroll down, it says, well, by default, um, you can start on Windows with this. So I could pass in a settings file. I could tell it I want to use the command line. I could also pass in a bunch of images. Uh, like so. If you want to get started with the graphical interface, you can just do dist acolyte acolyte.exe and this will pop up with a graphical interface. Now it takes you through exactly how to use this and I have another in, uh, uh, material, set of materials that show you how to use this. So I'll link out to that now. Um, but this is how to get started on uh, the default Windows computer. I do want to note, in case you don't want to install Git Bash, 
if you go to the command prompt, uh, and this is just the default command prompt. Again, I'm going to right click on this white section here at the top. I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to go to font. I'm going to move this to size 28 and that's just so you can see it, all of my uh, viewers in the future. Uh, and now what I want to do is I'm going to do the same thing, CD downloads. I can change directory into here. Um, that's really just I want to find my downloads here. I'm also going to change directory into the acolyte slash acolyte, oops, CD acolyte, and uh, CD the other acolyte. And in, let's say I do ls and it says it doesn't work. I can always do deer, and that will list all of my uh, values here. And so now I have this is the same approach that I took before. I can do dist because I'm in this file, right? I'm, I'm I, dist is visible to me, the distribution file. So now I can do dist acolyte. Um, oh, sorry, dist acolyte slash acolyte. Uh, I actually think, oh, I've made a mistake. So uh, I'm inside of acolyte and I need dist. Yeah, so now I've run, I've just changed directory into dist and acolyte, and now I can run it like so, just from the command line. So this is the approach. You can do it in either the regular command line or in the uh, git bash. Either one works. I hope this was helpful to you, and feel free to ask any questions you might have on this process. Thanks for watching.